Greetings, YouTube, and once again, a happy Sunday to each of you. It is indeed a very stormy and dark Sunday here in the great state of Oklahoma. So I promised that I'd be doing this uh, video for a while to those of you who have sent me your suggestions, and I think today is just kind of a good day to talk about this because I really think as a community, every once in a while, as the game evolves, it's important to evolve with it. And today we're going to talk about two arenas that are very important and have always been very important to the community since their introduction. They've been in the game for a while. We're talking about years, not months. So the first one you see in front of me is the Catalyst Clash for the Tier 1 Alpha. Now, this arena is pretty awesome because for 10,000 battle chips, you can get a number of milestone rewards leading to the final one at 800,000 points for that tier 1 alpha and then one fully formed premium disappointment crystal. Now, why am I doing a video on this? Well, when this arena and the tier 4 basic arena were first introduced into the game, it was very hard to get, especially tier 4 basic, but even tier 1 alpha. And I know there's going to be people who comment on this and say, if you need tier 1 alpha, just run map 3. And I get that. Like That's a good suggestion. But I don't know too many top-tier alliances that run map 3. It's pretty much either map 5 or and map 6. So you're asking alliances to do something that's just not going to happen, especially when so many alliances try to get that weekly Tier 4 class catalyst out of the alliance quest rewards. So the question becomes, how do you improve this arena? and for that matter, the tier four basic. Well, the, the cool thing is when these were first introduced, five stars were pretty much non-existent. And so it took a full roster, multiple rounds to get the 800,000 points for the tier one alpha and certainly the 1.1 million points it takes to get the tier four basic. But we know as the game evolves, even though six star champions are not allowed in these arenas, you can have a, a large five-star roster like myself where you have over 45 stars, and you can do each of these, even the 1.1 million, in one round, one shot. So here is a suggestion that has been sent to me by multiple people who, as far as I know, don't even know each other. They just had the same great idea, and I think that's awesome that people from all over the world can independently come up with a very similar idea because great minds think alike no matter what state you're living in or what country you're living in, etc. So the suggestion becomes, what if in both the Tier 1 Alpha and the Tier 4 Basic Arenas, you just had one more milestone, milestone number 11, that gave you an additional uh, uh, Tier 1 Catalyst or Tier 4 Basic by doubling the points. So in this case, 1.6 million points would get you another Tier 1 Alpha and 2.2 million, which is very attainable now in the arena, would get you that second Tier 4 Basic. I think one of the uh, things that could occur from this is not only to have more people grind them, but as more people are going into these arenas, less people are going into the others. Therefore, hopefully, the cutoffs should be lower. And this is just a suggestion. Some of you might think there needs to be a third item in the game or maybe even more milestones between 800,000 and 1.6 million or 1.1 million and 2.2 million. But I think this is just supposed to get the ball rolling and have us think about this as a community because we know that you need a crazy amount of Tier 1 Alphas to rank up a 5-star. We're talking 5 per rank. And those uh, Tier 4 Basic are also still so valuable. Even with a 4-star, it takes 8 of them to go from rank 3 to rank 5. So for those of you who are starting out in the game, it's still not the easiest to get your hands on those. And I think any chance the game can give you to put your hard-earned work to, to get a guaranteed reward, unlike the poor people who keep getting 20 million in the four-star Deadpool arena and still come up short. You know, you want to be able to put hours and hours of time into something with a guaranteed outcome. And that's what I love about these uh, arenas like the Tier 1 Alpha and the Tier 4 Basic. If you put the time in and you reach the score, you're guaranteed to get the reward. So at least there isn't that crippling disappointment 
of giving away sleep and family and love and sunlight for three days only to still come up short. So these are the suggestions that have been made to me. I'm putting this out now in the community and would love, love, love your feedback and any alternative suggestions on this. Maybe I'll do another follow-up video to come at some point. And thank you again for everybody who reaches out to me with ideas for videos on how to improve the game. I know sometimes it can sound like I'm pretty negative, but I really do love this game and I just want to make it better. And it's videos like this that give me the opportunity to do just that. Have a great day, YouTube.